Hello guys, today we have a challenge regarding exception. Uh, here we have a number format exception. Uh, we are asked to write a program that prompts the user to read two integers, display their sum, and then your program should prompt the user to read the number again if input, uh, I mean if input is incorrect. So instead of throwing this number format exception, then you should be able to ask again, um, I mean read the number again if the input is incorrect. Um, a little bit about exception, uh, in J uh, Java exception is an instance of a class derived from the Java uh, dot lang dot throwable so the uh, java provides a number of predefined exception classes such as uh, this one number of um, number format exception and also we have the error exception we have uh, exception itself and we have a runtime exception we have class not found exception uh, null point exception um, but this time we are going to deal with this exception and most of the time you find this exception when you run your program you get this uh, so I'm going to show you how to handle this exception uh, back here I have the uh, I have created a class and I call this class as a, uh, uh, a class I mean exception one and um, we need the main method I'm going to write the main method which is public static void main and then regarding I mean the question we have they say we should write a program that prompt the user to enter something so anything that to do with prompt the user to enter so we need a scanner uh, and I'm going to create a scanner here right away a scanner class and I'm going to give a variable name import is equal to new scanner and pass the system class here dot in and then we call this in all right then what do we need we need them um, because the way I'm going to do this is that uh, I'm going to create a boolean variable and I'm going to set it as false at the beginning let me write you get to know what I'm, I mean so write a boolean and I'm going to call this done To false for the first time and then and uh, even before that I need to create a variable let's create a variable two variables which is int number one uh, and then we initialize by zero and another one int number two and then initialize it by zero like that and then here I have a boolean I'm going to uh, now ask the user to enter two numbers okay so with the system dot dot print line ask the user to enter two numbers enter two integers integers okay and then I'm going to uh, to loop by using while loop I'm going to say while and I'm going to pass this done but I'm going to say if it's not done so let's see I say while not done which is use uh, exclamation mark not done then do what then we need to uh, we need to try And what am I going to try? I'm going to try uh, number one, which is, is going to be this input here is equal to be input 
keyboard dot next int we are receiving integer from the keyboard so it should be uh, next int okay and we do the same for number one for number two sorry for number two is equal to input dot next okay so we are saying while it's not done try these two numbers okay and then we let's we turn this back to false I mean to true here this I mean it's going to be done so be switch to true okay and then we catch the exception now I mean this is where the exception come to play so we we try normally you try and then you catch the exception so I'm going to catch exception and I'm going to use exception class so this is the like biggest class so other they extend to this class so uh, they inherit from this class so I'm going to use this and I'm going to give a variable usually we give e or you can give ex and then here I'm going to have these curly braces and I'm going to write uh, uh, I'm going to say uh, to catch the exception in case if anything happens then catch the exception and show the nice looking message to the user which is system dot uh, the print line let's say we say incorrect it's on the screen in, in call uh, this should be incorrect input and and uh, we need to ask the user to re-enter re-enter to integers okay and then we if you want them to re-enter that means you have to to uh, use the uh, I mean the scanner again which you can say input the next int and then uh, we are going to show this uh, print this I mean if this is any worse in your worst scenario case then print this but if everything goes well then we need to uh, to get the number as the question says that the program prompt the user to read two numbers in I mean, integers and display their sum from I mean your program should prompt the user to read the number again if the input is correct so now we have handled the exception now we have to to get this number and add them together so here I'm going to say that I'm going to use the actually yeah let me use print builder because it's easy and faster system dot out dot print line new stream builder and I'm going to say sum sum is and then I'll append um, number one plus number two and then I'll turn this to string convert to string so by using the stream method and then you finish so you this is our complete program and if we try to run this program now let's see it's taking time okay enter two numbers add maybe 10 and then I 10 again I get a sum 20 this is correct and this is how we we want we, we expected our program to do like this but let's let's assume now I add something which is it's not a number let's say I add a so you see we say incorrect input input and re-enter the two 